Hi, this is Gabe at FluentForever.com. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to just briefly show you how to add the Japanese keyboard to a Mac computer. Uh, you'll find different tutorials online for doing this on a PC. Um, to do this on a Mac, you're going to go to System Preferences. So you hit Apple to System Preferences. Um, then you're going to go to Keyboard. So we want to make our keyboard do something new. Uh, and then you're going to go to Input Sources over here. In this menu right now, I just have a US keyboard and I want one extra one. And so I'm going to first show the input menu in the menu bar. That's going to make a selector thing come up here, which means that I get to choose what keyboard I want up here. Um, and I will add now a new keyboard, and that keyboard will be Japanese. And so I can search for it, Japanese, and I will find this. And um, then I can add it. And Japanese, if you look in this input menu, which we, we had selected over here, uh, this menu now has three different new keyboards, a Romaji keyboard, a Hiragana keyboard, and a Katakana keyboard. The Romaji you're not going to use so much, mostly it's going to be the Hiragana one. That will allow you to sort of access pretty much all the alphabets of Japanese. Um, one other thing that kind of makes things a little bit easier, um, if you go to shortcuts and you go to input sources, <laughs> Uh, then you can add a shortcut that allows you to uh, switch between the English and, and Japanese keyboards uh, just with a keyboard stroke. I find this saves a bit of time instead of having to go up to the menu and selecting hiragana and then go up to the menu and select US. Uh, you can just make a keyboard shortcut that does it for you. Um, I like to use option space. Uh, and so I will change this by double clicking here and hit option space. Do the same thing here. Uh, select the next source. I will do, I guess, uh, shift option space. Uh, and so now I have a keyboard stroke that will switch keyboards. So instead of having to go up here and click, I can just hit option space and it will jump me right there to the last one I used. And every time I hit option space, it will do the exact same thing. Um, so to use this, what does this look like? Well, basically, let's grab a notepad out here. Uh, I want to bring a notepad out here. Um, this is a new note, and I'm going to option space back into the US keyboard and say, this is a US keyboard. Um, and then if I switch to Japanese, I'm going to hit option space. It's going to bounce me to the hiragana keyboard. Um, if it doesn't, I can kind of hold it down. If you hold down option and hit space, it gives you this menu that allows you to choose what you want. So I'm going to choose the hiragana one and let go of option now. Um, and then I can say something like, I don't know what, Tashi wa, um, I don't know, uh, Gakusei desu. Gakusei desu. Um, and so what's kind of neat about this is that it will write all this out in hiragana. You see, Watashi, Watashi wa Gakusei desu. And the thing right underneath it is what it assumes you're typing, uh, which it jumps straight into kanji. And so this is a mixture of kanji and hiragana. We have watashi wa uh, on the left. Um, I'm going to hit return now. Actually, I'm not going to hit return. Um, if you hit space, <laughs> uh, if you hit space, you get to see all the possible options for what you just wrote. Um, it will assume that you, you're typing the most common thing, um, but you could be typing something else, and so you get to select these things through space. There's some tutorials online on how to really use this thing. It's called uh, Koto Eri. Um, but uh, for the purposes of what we need here, in terms of Anki and all that, uh, this is about all you really need. Basically, you type in hiragana, and by type in hiragana, I mean you just sort of type out in English. Uh, if you're going to type watashi, you type W-A-T-A-S-H-I, uh, and that will give you watashi. Um, and then... Uh, as long as you hit return, it will jump to the kanji that you probably need. And if it's getting you to the wrong kanji, then you just hit spacebar twice, and it'll give you a list of the possible kanji that you're looking for. So that is it for our needs. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.